Abed Marriott. Abed Marriott. Just based like that. Yeah, just tell us about it. Oh, sorry, I'm doing it wrong. I thought you were. Yeah. Right. Um, the noise of my Johnson is probably when I really have a go at it is. Um, <laughs> That's how it sounds. Give me a kiss, I love it. No tongues, no tongues. Oh. Do I have a photo? Oh, yeah. Can you take that? Come on. Yes, because on Bo Selector program we do a little segment called um, Michael Jackass. And it is Michael Jackson falling over and doing all the tricks, not as good as Jackass, right? Um, but I like Johnny Knoxville, he is a very sexy man, and I am not a homosexual, but I would be a homosexual with Johnny Knoxville. He is very um, clean. And is that how you did your neck? And was it doing one of the stunts? No, this neck, I tell you the truth, Lisa Tabak, I told her she looks so sexy when she wears trousers, but a skirt is not right for her, right? And then it healed, and I don't have to wear it, then I look like a sexy bitch myself. You don't think so, because I have ginger hair, but if I smile right, I look a little bit sexy. Um, then I meet Sarah Cox. I tried to handcuff myself to her, and she went mental and punched me in the neck. I called me a son of a bitch, but I still like her. I love Cox. Thank you, please. Thank you, please. <laughs> Oh, you know a lot about 
The kids like it even more than I do, which is worrying. But we've got a few good stunts what they could do around our end if they're interested in this side. So what would you suggest? Dangerous as fuck as well, you know what I mean? Guaranteed broken bones. So what, what are these stunts? Uh, well, we've got, we have got live near these razzles so and we've got this like vertical run. And my mates tested it out and we've got to put a ramp at the end and you can do whatever you want. Just going down the vertical run is brave enough. I wouldn't shove a little toy car in my ass. <laughs> but Ryan Dunn did beat me to the punch if I was going to. <laughs> now, why should people come and see this film? Um, because everybody has ADD these days, and uh, there's no plot to the movie. Like, you don't have to follow anything. It's just skit after skit. So you can get up, go to the bathroom, and come back, and you didn't really miss anything. And uh, it's just pure comedy, strictly to make you laugh. No point at all to the film. Now, you guys must have seen the film. Uh, you know, a number of times. Yeah, I've seen it about ten times, but it's been like three months now, so uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it again. So how are you going to fight the ADD in there? You know, are you guys going to muck around during the, during the screening? No, I, I have my friends from Finland here. It's a band called uh, Him, and uh, and they haven't seen it yet, so I'm, I'm anxious to see what they think about it, and we're going to sit and watch it again. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Take care. Have a nice night. Okay.
Hey, how you doing? I'm all right, thank you. So, so what, what other qualities do you need to have to be a jackass? Did you go to any smart classes in school? <laughs> like any, any, like, every class I was in in high school, everybody was wearing helmets. And I rode on the little short bus to school. So as long as both those things happen, you're, you're right on the same path for jackass stardom. You know? Now, what, what, is there anything that you wouldn't do? Is there anything you wouldn't consider doing? Um, shit. I don't like to show my small wiener on TV, so if, it has to be, if I have to show my crotch, you know, like the Speedo, I couldn't fill a dental floss Speedo, let alone any normal Speedo, so as long as I don't have to show my small crotch, because I've got minimal amount of women after me, and that's just going to ruin those two girls that like me, so. They've got socks, though. You can even get socks. <laughs> He's wearing a picture of me. But it's, a, it's one of the guys from Turbo Negro, just some Norwegian band that's fantastic, and it is Ryan Dunn to the T. Hi, I feel happy now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of strange when your buddy's walking around with a picture of you on his jacket, but it's really not me. It's still kind of strange, you know? So why should people come and see this film? What is that about it? Well, if you like Jackass, the show, you'll love the movie because it's, it's bigger, you know? Exactly. Yeah, Thank yeah. you very much. Got some shit left. Thank Cheers. You. Take care. Ryan, the is coming to my seat. It's like I've ever heard. And obviously because I said that, I was automatically the, the person to do it. So they're like, well, you're going to do it? I'm like, well, if nobody else will do it. I mean, obviously, I'm the one who just made a big stink about it. I'm going to have to do it. So obviously, I ended up having to sodomize myself and make yourself more bad. Yeah, I, I, I shit it out. Like a good, I had it in my ass for about like three hours. Three very uncomfortable hours. I was a little confused. You know, obviously skateboarders are crazy by nature, so. And then eventually everybody started watching it, wanting to see the crazy stuff, and then Jeff Maine had the idea to just make a television show out of just the crazy stuff from different skateboard videos. So we gathered that together, everybody from those different videos, and we all consolidated and made a television show. Oh, there you are, Look at my job. I get paid to act like I'm poor. Oh, no. Perfect. It's perfect. You know? How, how much more can you rub it in your fucking in, in your buddy's face? You know, like that. How do you do? Hey, I've got some friends. Come and give me a hot body, boy. You're getting it. <laughs> What kind of a man are you? I'm not a man, I'm a cat with some arrow eyes. Yeah. That's it. I've been attacked. I've been attacked by party boy. He's going down. What kind of... Just kidding. Do you have a cigarette for real? Party boy attacks the man behind the cast. Party boy attacks the man behind the cast. That guy sucks. Oh, you want us to rest? Oh, you want to do an interview? Oh, you want to rest? No, 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 you want to rest. I want to do an interview. Dave Carney has emailed and said hi, but I'm going to give them a house for about a week over here. All right, so that Chris fucking became party boy. He used to answer letters to Big Brother. And then you come to handle that job. And you make sure you got a job at John McKinsey or something like that. Yeah, I got fired from Big Brother, and then I worked at John McKinsey's like, it's like Pelton McDonald's. And then I, yeah, I got Yeah, yeah. Cool. Do you want to speak to me? Glasgow? You guys shaved that chest, dude. Oh. Give us something to something. 
No. Um, no. <laughs> Not really. So what's the stunt you're most proud of? What's the thing you're most proud of in the film? In the film? I'm kind of... I'm kind of... No, everyone... There's so many more ideas, you know. They never really win. We could have just kept filming. We, we, we have so much fun to say we need to film the movie. Just because he didn't do it or whatever. They're stern. Stern, but they're pretty fair. Um, I think I won their hearts. Oh, yeah. Where's the best fun? On the movie, probably Florida. Yeah, yeah, definitely Florida. That's amazing. But on the show, we had a great time. Yeah, a lot. They, they did it twice. One time it was in London. Yeah, we, we filmed there a lot. Huh? It was just all of us working on um, a skateboard magazine, making videos, and um, it just evolved. Eventually, like, um, Hollywood, it kind of like, the videos went around Hollywood and, and MTV bought it, and here we are. Yeah, we never knew it would be so big. We thought everyone would hate it. <laughs> Thank you that kind of grew together like you know it's not like we casted people like these people I'm, are all from my little past at Big Brother magazine and through skateboarding we just all amassed so you don't really become it you just are it with us in this little time you know it's just about the boom's getting in the shot the boom's getting in the shot there's plenty we wouldn't do yeah I wouldn't shove a toy car up my ass so but someone would thank God so, I mean, why is it going to keep you? Um, for the ladies, there's a lot of naked men running around. Um, and for the boys, all those naked men fall down real hard. So, all right, good. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, I, uh, you know, they told me casual but elegant, so I dressed appropriately. I think it's very elegant. What's the inspiration behind it? Um, I just wanted to buy the ugliest suit on Savile Road, so that's what I did. Yeah, I, uh, no, I think it's cute. Oh. No. It's cute. Yeah? Yeah? Well, you know what? The fans outside will ask for autographs and all that. Did you ever expect a response like that? No, I, it was a better response than we got in the States, so we're excited. Does that encourage you to be more and more and more? No, this is it. This is it. It's a good farewell is what it is. And right there, I think the film many times you discover yeah. things about, you know, your performance and that. The only, the, only, the only thing about seeing it this time, many times, is seeing it with a new audience. No, that, that's good, but seeing the film, I can 
I've seen it so many times. And what, the night is young, what are you expecting to do a bit later? I'll probably have one or two drinks, maybe three. Or two. Or two. Nice to meet you. Hi. 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 I'm Rolaif Metzian, how are you doing? How are you, man? I'm Rolaif. So you're here in London. Do you think yeah. British people... The camera's going to spin on me. I gotta, I'm always... Yeah, you guys you know, I, try uh, to I hope no one does it besides it us. Me, if it is... Because, uh, uh, yeah, it's just going in bad. So what can people yeah. expect from the film? What can, what can what will they take from the film? Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> They'll probably feel violated at the end of the film. Just a lot of things going in and out of holes, naked men. But, uh, yeah, it's all the stuff we couldn't do on TV, so we're excited. And is there anything you wouldn't do? Yeah, I wouldn't do what Ryan did, uh, the, the stunt he performed in the film. I turned down, and so did Steve-O. We found something Steve-O wouldn't do, so... And what would, you, what would be your favorite ever stunt? Have you done something, this is something that you would like to do that you haven't done yet? That no, I don't get that excited about my own stunts, but the one Ryan Dunn performed, I'm very excited about. Excellent. So. Well, thank you very much. All right, nice Take to meet care. you. Thank you. Hi, man, how are you? Good to see you. So you went full speed. I didn't build the knockout punch. I know, I'm scared that fucking so, uh, red carpet. That sucks, man. It's not a red carpet. Well, what you didn't 